Hello, PlayStation planners, players, and pure geniuses. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the city of Poncho. Today we're going to be going over some older footage of mine that I found digging around. And uh, it was the original layout for the mine. Now, there's some work that's been done to it here and there since I did this initial build. But this shows how I dug out the pit and started the initial road infrastructure, ran the highway out to it. Um, you know, all, all the main important parts. Everything else was just uh, building city blocks and putting down the industrial buildings. So, kind of seeing me going over this in my head here about what's going to be where. So, I had made an oil industry for the city of Poncho, but you know I kinda rushed it when I built it and uh, it has yet to be revised but I really wanted an industry that could have its own space designated that um, would be like a staple to the city so this is where I started off I wanted to do an open pit mine and uh, so I, I made my perimeter road and uh, then from there I started leveling out terrain heights. So my original perimeter road was not level. I didn't level the ground out for this because uh, you can see these things carved out of the sides of hills and stuff like that and the outer layer generally tends to reflect the surrounding topography. So. I wanted to stick true to that so this first layer here part of it actually goes above the outer perimeter because of the way the landscape was um, and I think I wound up fixing that later on because I don't recall it being above now but um, yeah and I tried to make sure there was two entrances to each ring all the way around and not every ring is a complete ring like this one here the pr the purpose of this ring that I just made there was to make the next part of the circle level with the lowest part of the perimeter ring so now we're officially level with the lowest part of the perimeter ring that I've made so now we're gonna start going down and I you know I was going down like six or seven units for each tier of the mine and then uh, I didn't make them all uniform either you'll see there's a couple of good overlooks of the layout for the pit I wanted it to be uneven and I wanted it to show how where they dig can be motivated by where they've found say the minerals they're looking for so if they found more promising results on the north end of the pit than they did on the south then naturally the north end would be dug out a bit more and be able to accommodate larger machinery for that larger mineral output that they have available so I wanted there to be that unevenness to it to show how some spots they've found good amounts of minerals and other spots were dug out to make a road to get to the spot with the minerals so I was so focused on the tier levels of making this mine though I didn't take into consideration all of the heavy equipment that comes with the mining industrial pack and so I wound up having some trouble fitting all the assets I needed down here to make a profit so I wound up making kind of an offshoot on the side of this where they may have started another open pit facility uh, you know another operation to get minerals out of another spot in this same area so I could add in some more of those bigger assets but I did wind up putting 
a lot of the generic mining industry down in here as well on the one and two deep tile squares that I had available just to show that it's not just one big pit leading down to a giant tractor you know it's there's stuff going on all over it you know little digs and finds of all sizes operations of all sizes going on around this pit So something that I thought of ahead of time, and I built a little tiny strip mine before, but nothing to this caliber. This was a, a big one, but uh, or an open pit mine, but uh, was that you want to have your entrances and exits to each ring at different spots, you know, don't have just one set of switchbacks on this giant ring of roads getting up and down spread them out so that way the cargo trucks have to go and traverse around up and down this and it gives a real uh, natural organic look I guess but it also makes it to where you have traffic up and down the mine all day long busy traffic not enough to choke it up but it it just looks really cool um i'm i'm glad that i did it that way it was something i kind of thought ahead before i really got too far with it and i think there was a couple of spots i wound up moving around but for the most part i tried to make sure each entry and exit was was fairly staggered so now we're going to start straying away from our old pattern there and making a new deeper pit even more deeper than the rest you know this would be a spot where they found more minerals so they're digging more in that spot We're getting in and we're going to extend the interstate we want these guys to have direct access in and out of the city and to well at this time every part that had been made so far now 
if you guys have seen the last couple of videos, those were all filmed after this build, so there's been a lot more interstate access added, and this does definitely does not get you all the way through the heart of town anymore. Uh, but uh, I guess that would be another episode for another time, maybe to extend this infrastructure to maybe have direct access to the airport and the likes of that. But that's a future project. Um, this is actually going to be the last Poncho episode probably for about a month. Um, I want to start a true Let's Build It series. Uh, I tried with Poncho, but I was so new to recording that uh, I was still trying to get my feet under me on how to record and edit and what my video style was going to be. And the style for this has changed so much and I, I lost so much of the, you know, video content and everything. It's a fun build. I hope that you guys like the episodes I put out for it, but it's definitely not a Let's Build It series. It's more of a, uh, a progress report, <laughs> if I will. So for this right here, I really wanted uh, this to seem like a railroad bridge, but not you know, up on posts like like the actual bridges are. I wanted this to seem more like, uh, I don't know, this just seems like a bit more permanent, less maintenance using the actual ground around the railroad. And it also seems to give both travelways a sense of priority on the landscape. You know, the train track gets to stay on the ground and go over the top while the road digs in and goes underneath of it. So, I don't know. <laughs> Strange city building theory and technique of mine, I guess. But I like it. I think it worked. So I end up building this really cool interstate exit here, which would have been great if I wasn't on PlayStation and I could do more than nine tiles. PlayStation 4, I should say. Uh, but then I could do more than nine tiles. But seeing as how I'm not going to buy any more tiles in this direction. Building this interstate junction was... Um, uh, redundant. You know, this is where the road needed to end. Not just have an access point. So I wound up actually turning this into a roundabout that splits off into a couple of uh, arterial roads to feed the uh, industry that we got going on here. But man, the idea I had for this interchange was solid. So uh, I don't know. I might in implement it somewhere else. We'll see where uh, the journey of city skylines takes us. But I could have edited this out, but I didn't because... Uh, even if I'm not using this interchange, um, you could watch this and maybe have something going on in your city where this e and this style interchange is the answer to your problems. You know, you never know. So I left this in here. I hope you guys find it in some way informative. Uh, it's definitely sort of a, a low speed, low drag style interchange. You wouldn't be flying in and out of the exits going 70 miles an hour but it's direct access in a small space and uh, I think that's what uh, makes it all happen
So now that I've pretty much based myself on a solid platform for making my videos, I've got a formula, a bit of a template for my entry and outro. <clears throat> There's that super cool interchange, like I said, once I go over the overview, it's gone. Um, just a creative idea for anybody who might be using it. But basically what I've done with the City of Poncho is uh, I've used it as a tool to build my ability to construct videos, start to build a channel. I've got a uh, really, really small community of people that watch it, but um, the whole point of this uh, was to have an outlet for all the time I'd put into this. Uh, building my cities is real therapeutic. It requires a lot of the kind of critical thinking that I enjoy. Um, and so uh, this is just, it's great. I love it. I hope you guys are liking the content as well. Because this was a city with milestones, I had to start with the real basics. A ton of little tiny facilities for mining and then uh, work my way up. So in the overview, it's level 5. But yeah, just step my way up with it. So we're going to start a, uh, a Let's Build It series. A true Let's Build It series. So anybody who's tuning into these, if you have any ideas or preferences, let me know. If not, I'll, uh, I'll have a Let's Build It uh, coming out probably within the next week or so. I really like doing the temperate maps, the European maps. The Boreal maps are really dark. On my computer, they were always fun, but on my PlayStation, they're really dark. And I don't have as much fun playing them on my PlayStation, so preferably not one of those. But if that's what you guys want to see, let me know in the comments. I hope you guys are enjoying the content that's getting put out here. Feel free to like and subscribe as always. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Keep playing PlayStation players.